Ladies and gentlemen, let's go for Cassie Hicks. Woo! Evening. So I was really stuck yesterday. I agreed to give this talk and I was sitting at home getting ready to give the talk and I was stuck. Have you ever had that feeling in your business when you just get stuck? And I thought, you know, I'm going to meditate. Anyone here? Anyone meditate? Yeah? Normally when I meditate, ideas come to me and inspiration comes to me. So I meditated and the word that kept coming up for me was surrender. And I thought, okay, I'll just park that to one side. I'm not quite sure what to do with that, but I'll just park it for now. So there I was yesterday thinking, I don't know what I'm going to talk about at club night tomorrow. And a webinar came up on the computer and it was a Mind Valley. Anyone else like Mind Valley? Michael Bernard Beckwith, and guess what he was talking about? Surrender. I thought, this is a message. This is a sign. Now, what was really interesting about this webinar is he talked about meditation, creative visualization, and then also he specialized in something called visioning. I don't know if any of you have heard of visioning. I hadn't heard of it until yesterday. And I'm just going to explain to you the difference between the three, because I found this quite a, a revelation, actually. So meditation is where you quiet your mind. So there's little voices in your mind and you know we've got all these thoughts and all this information. With meditation, we quiet our minds so that we can listen for guidance. So really, really important, right, to do that every day if we can. With creative visualization, I'm going to give you an example of creative visualization. What we're doing is we're creating the future we want. And this is something I teach in my paid programs. I'm, not, I'm in the social media world, and I teach people to create the future they want with their business on social media. So my favorite example of this is I want to be in Hawaii with a really hot man having an amazing holiday. So using creative visualization, I'm going to create a movie in my mind. I'm there, I'm next to the sea, the sky is blue, I've got a cocktail in my hand, I've got a hot man next to me, I can smell the jasmine and the frangipani. I can hear the cicadas or whatever the little insects they have in Hawaii. I've never been, I don't know. And it's a very 3D picture, isn't it? That's creative visualization. It's not something you watch like a movie. You step into that movie, if you like, and you make it part of your daily routine until it becomes a reality. Now, that's a really, really powerful technique. You can take that away. You can use that to create results in your business. But let's take things to the next level. Let's talk about visioning. This is what Michael Bernard Beckwith, and he's from The Secret. It's what he talked about last night, and I thought, oh, my gosh. So with visioning, what you're doing is rather than with, with creative visualization, you're limited by your own human experience and imagination. So let's imagine there could be something much grander for me than a holiday in Hawaii with a hot man. But that's all my imagination and my human experience can, can grant me. But with visioning, what you're doing is you're actually allowing and trusting and you're surrendering to a bigger, um, a, a bigger thing, something bigger than you, something outside of you. And what's incredible about that is there's a lot more potential for you, for all of us here in this room, than we can comprehend in our little human bodies. So just to give you an example of that, I went to a networking meeting probably about two or three years ago now, and I, went with an in, I always go with an intention when I go to a business meeting. My intention was to reconnect with some business pals, and there was a radio host, and I wanted to be on his radio show. And I thought, I'm going to meet this radio host, go on his radio show, and, and, and connect with some business pals. And what happened that day, this was so about two or three years ago, I met a lady there who um, runs an apprenticeship program. And at the time, my son was 16 and uh, doing his GCSEs, and he wanted to be an apprentice chef. So I met this lady. Long story short, um, she had a connection with a five-star hotel quite near to where we live. And moving swiftly on, my son left school. He got all his GCSEs. He left school at 16. And he went and he started this apprenticeship at this five-star hotel. What that's happened, uh, what that's um, led to today is him now working in a Michelin uh, restaurant in London. And last week, he was a finalist in the Young Chef of the Year competition up in Birmingham. I drove him up to Birmingham. All of this has come about for him from that one conversation at the meeting. 
So if I'd gone with my head in terms of creative visualization to that meeting, I'd have just thought about the radio host. And I did go on the radio show, by the way. But actually, by surrendering and by allowing more possibilities to unfold, my son's now on this amazing tra trajectory with his, with his fine sort of dining chef career. So my question to you guys tonight is, when you feel stuck in your business or your life, like I was yesterday, rather than pushing through, think about surrendering. Think about actually just giving way, stepping back, and unfolding to infinite possibilities and see what happens for you. Thank you.